Hey. Hey. Gang. Hey. 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 Turn up. Hey, what's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike. Back at it with another five video. As y'all can see in the title today, so you want to sell your soul. Now, a lot of rappers out there selling their souls and a lot of people out there thinking it's okay. So this is my perspective of telling y'all why it's not a good thing to sell your soul and why it's a good thing to sell your soul. So kind of like a beneficial video for y'all to understand kind of, I guess, the way of soul selling business. You did. did. Anyway, guys, uh, cheers. Spark up if y'all 18 and up, y'all smoking tobacco products, all that good stuff. Y'all already know what's up. Let's get it, guys. Glass blunt. I love them. Anyway, guys, 50,000 subs, guys. We are almost there. 15 more K subs, and we're at 50,000. That's a 50 grand blunt, y'all. Bro, I, I was on my IG yesterday. Before we start this video, I just want to say, bro, the legends I look up to, fuck with my videos, bro, no fucking way, dude. When I started this stuff, I had people I looked up to all the time, of course. <coughs> <coughs> like my motivation, you know what I'm saying? Bro, they fuck with my videos, bro, like a lot of people that I fuck with, like I've been fucking with. They fucking with my videos, bro, and I, I can't believe it, guys. So, if y'all watching right now, I just want to say that I'm a big fan of y'all, for sure. And I can't believe that y'all watching my videos. I can't believe that y'all y'all enjoy my videos. It's fucking crazy. But anyway, you guys, um, cheers, and I'm about to explain to y'all why you shouldn't sell your soul. So, before we get started, let's find out. Oh my gosh, bro. Come on. <coughs> when did soul selling begin? <coughs> I got the Bentley Black. So, there's not an original date for it, but it's been happening since the 17, 1700s. Anyway, you guys, so a long story short, I know that y'all, I know y'all see y'all favorite rappers and y'all hear all these stories like, oh, I saw my blood, I saw my, I saw my deal in blood letters. <sighs> or had a conversation with a dragon or shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Or even, <laughs> in the belly of the beast until they puke us. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those lyrics are kind of sympathizing, not sympathizing, are kind of making it really easy to understand that they sold their soul. That's basically what it is. But, like, honestly, most of these rappers don't even write their own lyrics. So, it's kind of not even on them. It's kind of someone else doing that shit for them. But, they're like a puppet. So, it's like, you got to say this stuff or you don't get paid. So it's like, bet, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get paid. If not, you know, they're going to fuck with me. That's what being a slave is. And I thought slavery was done. But it's really just a whole different type of slavery uh, in 2018. You see, slavery is not just in chains like they used to be, how we used, how they used to be in chains and shit. And it was Mexicans too. Don't think it was just Africans that were slaves. Mexicans were slaves too. Don't fucking play us. You know what I'm saying? Don't be acting like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be acting all shady like that. Cause Mexicans were slaves too. You can't say they weren't. And if y'all say y'all there was no Mexican slaves, y'all stupid. Y'all very stupid. Real talk. So look, there was. It was more like there was more African slaves than Mexican slaves, but I don't want to get into that right now. What I do want to get into is explaining how this slavery kind of took its parts. So let's say you got this new rapper. He came out of nowhere. 
and he has the right label that could hit those sort sort of Lady Gaga number lanes. You know what I'm saying? So he he has all the the lane number. Uh, he has all the help and all that stuff. But you're probably wondering like, why would they do that for him? Like, what did he do for them? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he makes you a little money from records and stuff like that. But like at the end of the day, you're paying him more than when he's dishing out, and that's facts. So you you probably thinking like, what the fuck? Like. Are y'all investing in him? Which they are. They are investing in you, promoting you, so you could, so they could get investments in themselves. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people get dropped because they can't sell records, or they get dropped because they can't sell records because something happens in in the community, or they get dropped because they don't want to do what they got to do as a puppet. You know what I'm saying? So as far as selling your soul to a, a label, this is how they're gonna do you. This is how they're gonna treat you, just like a slave, bro. You got your label chain around your neck, right? Let's say you got your label chain around your neck. That's a fucking slavery chain right there in 2018. That's what I call a slavery chain. All on your neck, bro. That's a motherfucking label chain with your fat ass label on it. Well, guess what? Did your label pay for that chain? Yes, sir. And guess what? That label put that chain on your ass to represent that they own your ass. That's a slavery chain around your fucking neck. And you don't even know it. You don't even know it because you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking like, oh, look at all this gold and diamonds. I'm fucking glistening. Boy, you sold your soul. You got the whole slavery chain around your neck. Now, that sounds a little too hardcore. I know it does, but it's real shit. That's what the labels represent yourself for. Like, they want to make sure that they own you as an artist. So they want to be like, let me put this chain on his neck. And every artist is going to know who he is and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. Because if, if you a slave in 2018, like, like what's his name said the other day, Lil Xan. He said that, um, that he was being treated like a slave, right? That nobody, let me see if I can find it real quick. <clears throat> and this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These these record labels, like, they're good and all, like, as far as putting you out there for fame and stuff. But, but like, look how Lil Xan feels. And this is how I feel, like, if, if, if I get rich and famous, this is probably how I'm going to be. mental illness really fucking looks like. Y'all want to see what that looks like? I just did this to my car. Look at this shit, it, man. I just bought it. I just bought this fucking car. All the way. <laughs> Fucking door. Wanna know why I'm doing that? Cause of mental fucking illness. All this materialistic shit don't mean shit in the world. And when they won't let you do, I'm owned. I'm a fucking slave. I'm a slave to my management. I'm a slave to everybody. I don't get control of my license. I don't get control of my bank account. I don't get control of shit. I can't even drive that fucking car. They put it in the basement so I couldn't take it. I know I don't have a license, but if I have someone with the license, I could take it. So fuck everybody. This is mental fucking illness. I don't care. Make fun of me. I'm, make, make fun of me on the internet. I don't give a fuck. Yo, welcome to Dar No one's going to make fun of you, bro, because you just admitted that you a slave in your own management, which just explains and it, it, it provides more... More efficiency as far as knowing selling your soul is not a good thing. Because once you sign those papers for a 10-year contract or 2-year contract, 1-year contract, it doesn't matter what you do, what you say. That 1-year contract you sign and the money you got and already blew, they need that back. So they want your ass working for them to get all that money they signed you for back. And then some, which makes you a slave. Not a slave because you're getting paid for it, okay? You is getting label money. Same time, you're selling your soul. But look, look. I don't believe that every label is signing your soul. You know what I mean? Every label won't be signing your soul. And just make sure you're doing the right contracts. Don't sign no 10-year contract because that label could go down in 10 years. You never know. Sign a fucking year contract, six months, something like that, dude. Get a good-ass check. 
Make sure you're not signing no soul. Make sure you're doing everything good. You know what I'm saying? And it's not good to be like sign your soul here and sign sign right here in blood letters. It don't you don't do that, okay? You don't. But that label is connected with you know it's just far it's hard to understand guys but look I would sign my soul this is the only reason why I would but I probably wouldn't anyway but I'm saying I would because this is what's gonna happen you sign your soul in 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 earth you do die and you go to you go to hell right for all eternity you're in hell now suffering but you lived good in earth you know what I'm saying but was it worth it to spend a couple of years on earth living good or spending eternity down there? Now, the only way I would spend eternity down there is to take a sacrifice for my own fucking family. Excuse my language. But like, if I had a, if I had a chance to move my family out the ghetto and get them nice cars and nice houses and nice clothes and everything they ever wanted and ever dreamed about, and accomplish every goal. Don't let nobody work. Like they're all straight for life. Because of me. That's the only reason why I'll take my sacrifice. Is if I know that it's for a greater cause. If I do eternity in hell. It's okay. Because I did it for, for something good. You know what I'm saying. I did it for my family. So they could eat good in heaven. I mean in, in, on earth. And that's, what I, that's how I see it. But otherwise than that. Let's say my family's already rich. And they pull out like a label. Sign soul type shit. I would never do that. Hell no. Nah. But, you know, we in the struggle right now. Everybody's in the struggle. I mean, unless you rich and shit. But I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't rich. I don't have a Bentley. I don't have a mansion. I don't have none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just grinding. You know what I'm saying? And, like, for an 18-year-old doing this thing, you got to admit, like, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to... I don't ever give up. That's never in my mind. It's never like, oh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to give up this and that. Nah, it's never that. I'm just like consistent with my thinking and I make sure everything's, you know, good and Gucci. But yeah, guys, long story short, I say it's not a good idea to sign your soul because if you want to sign your soul and you're thinking about it right now, just think about the long run. Yeah, you'll be good for on earth. Will your family be good? You you better f be straight that your family's good. If you sign yourself for some 30 bands or something like that, what is that going to do, dude? You could get that in your lifetime. So don't do that stupid, stupid stuff, guys. Like, low-key, I'm just waiting for the right time. You know what I'm saying? If, if someone major hits me up, I'm going to have to sign to them. I'm open for signing, guys. And that's just like, it's sad to say that. It really is. And I, I that's not me. And it's just like, I, I just wake up in the morning and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I could do better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like, like I could get rich if I get a label and the label could do like, pay for awesome videos, awesome stew time, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And run those, you know, lanes and stuff. I'll be great, you know what I'm saying? Popping up on World Star every other day. I'll be great. But until that day, guys, I'm grinding, you know what I'm saying? People like, hey, why you do this YouTube stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they be, some people be laughing and shit and all that shit. But, like, real talk, what are y'all doing? Like, boy, I got a purpose, like, you know what I'm saying? We about to hit 50,000 subscribers, regardless if that's not a lot. But it's a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, what do y'all got? Y'all got 50,000 subscribers? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are y'all doing in life, like? Y'all just saying on the same old shit. Like, I'm trying to switch it up. I've been down roads, you know what I'm saying, and seeing if that was the way to get it. It's not. Now I'm going down this road, and I'm getting it, and I'm like, damn, what's next? And it's this music thing that's next for all the money and shit. Shows, features, fucking, <laughs> all that good stuff. <laughs> But yeah, man, shout out to all the people <coughs> with hundreds and thousands of subs just watching my videos. <coughs> Thank y'all, guys. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I uh, can't thank y'all enough, guys, for all the subscribers, everything. I'm going to try to do these daily uploads, you know what I'm saying? Try to make it fun, maybe go shopping sometimes. But I just, I don't know, I feel kind of weird. 
I, I, I need to, I need to go to like, go shopping and then just light an L in there, right? But I don't know. I ain't trying to get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on your P's and Q's out here. If you wanna last long, you can't be getting in trouble. Like, look, y'all heard about Trippy Red. Honestly, I wouldn't have hit a girl with my pistol. That's that's out of line. You knew you were going to get locked up for that. I knew you knew because he stayed in the spot. Pistol whipped a bitch. What kind of street cred do you get out of that, though? That's what I'm wondering. It's like, what kind of street cred do you think you were going to get out of that? Like, did you think 6 9 or somebody like that was going to, like, respect you more or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You ain't had to do all that, blood. I swear, you ain't had to do all that. That bad pistol with that bitch like nothing, nigga. I seen that shit before. Like, two girls were fighting. And their dude, I guess, was just too close to the girls. And the other dude had a fat ass, I think it was a high point pistol. And you know those are all fucking heavy ass metal. He just, <clears throat> riding the back of the head to that nigga. And he said, bow, fell straight on his face, bro. I swear to God. He just stayed stiff, like, like stiff and bow, fell right on his face, bro. I was like, oh, shit. But you could just hear the loud ass. Boom, just like that in his skull, bro. He just, boom, he fell on the floor. And he said, yeah, nigga, yeah. And they stopped fighting the girls, and they took off, yada, yada. That nigga got knocked the fuck out. Hey, anybody will get knocked out in the back of the head right here and right here. You see, when I was when I was fighting those niggas, these niggas didn't hit me right here. They some dumbass niggas. They don't know how to fight, bro. He does. I mean, he knows how to wrestle. I give him that. That nigga know how to MMA wrestle, but he didn't know how to punch, bro. If he would have punched me in my temple, especially like I was like out of breath and all that, bro, I would have knocked out. Like a temple right here, these temples will, will knock you out quick. Back of the head, definitely this little, you know what I'm saying, will definitely get you some. Leverage on somebody if you're trying to run up. I wouldn't recommend running up on somebody. That's pussy shit. Make sure they know because then they're gonna run up on you, and that's just gonna be fucking deadly. Cause now you gotta watch your back every other second. Y'all better have some respect for shit, or it's gonna be murder. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna box me, we'll box. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta use no pistols. I'm about that. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm not about to cause attention. Because y'all know I do my thing. That's just what it is. Let me see if I'm still recording. <coughs> Alright, guys. We're still recording. But, yeah, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this video because I knew I had to make this video. I just knew I had to because if I didn't, y'all wouldn't really understand how I'm feeling right now. I feel like, I feel like there's no other way but to sell your soul. To get it out at the slums, right? You see all these rappers and stuff, but then that's not that's not what what God wants me to do. You see, God God helped me make it this far. For me to portray him like that, that's never one thing I would ever do. Just saying, guys. So God put me here, and I'm gonna respect that, and I'm gonna let God take me to the top. I'm not gonna let the devil take me to the top.